Hey folks, thanks for tuning in again. This is Bobby with KCA Ranch and Homestead. So what do we do with all this rain? Well, we eventually want to have a very uh, substantial rainwater catchment system. We just had new gutters installed on the awning behind us uh, here on the front and the back since it's a gabled roof, catching water on both sides. We get a little bit of water off of this building I'm standing at now. This is a uh, 16 foot well house slash kitchen slash laundry slash storage got a uh, sloped roof so we got a gutter on one side and we also put a gutter on the back of our main cabin that we sleep in and it's a sloped roof as well uh, we just started out with one rain barrel here on the well house just to kind of see how it worked and uh, it's nothing fancy water's not really clean uh, it can be filtered uh, the gutter does not have a leaf barrier on it but so far we've been using it for a lot of different things other than drinking for the dogs and quails and rabbits and i can also pump out of it with a 12 volt pump into another barrel which is uh over there beside that building right over in there for the dog uh, to drink out of and i can also take water to the back during a drought if we have our uh if we have some trees growing or if i want to supplement the water for the deer and hogs okay for the deer um, anyway let me just show you this simple barrel actually Mary built it um, she did a great job on it and I hooked it up and strapped it to a pole here so we could get 55 gallons of water for an emergency so you can see I got a 55 gallon one of those blue plastic totes um, did not mess with the uh, original caps bungs they're called uh, you can see the gutter here coming off the well house runs down I got it sloped a little bit it comes down comes out and we got a rock filter kind of a pea gravel filter that's sitting in there in a little little plastic pot water goes through there it catches all of the big stuff like acorns and some other stuff I uh, got the barrel leveled on some blocks and bricks because this ground was sloped. Got it ratchet strapped to this pole which is cemented in the ground just to keep it level. Uh, got an overflow pipe here and got a little screen right here to keep things from crawling in there. A little netting and that's just a PVC fitting. I think it's a uh, two inch, two and a half inch uh, caulked into the top of the barrel and then another 90 coming out you could run that however you wanted you could put some more piping and neck it down to a water hose if you wanted for overflow situations uh, ours just kind of runs out of there when it gets to the top down at the bottom I bought a fitting off of Amazon I'll try to post a link to that uh, it's got some rubber washers I guess you'd call them nylon washers to seal it off good threads on and then you screw the uh, faucet adapter so let's take a look here nice clean semi clean rainwater you'll notice that's a threaded three quarter inch we could put a hose on that if we wanted to I have in the past and that's really about it. Don't have a lot of details on the build, but you can YouTube that. I just want to show you how easy it is just to set up something simple. Uh, you really do need that overflow pipe though, unless you have multiple barrels piped in, because it doesn't take much off of a 16 by 16 roof. Sorry about the noise, that's my air compressor in the background. Doesn't take much rain to fill that sucker up anyway after we get our house built which is going to be starting in the next couple weeks uh, we'll start planning a, a bigger system over here with some 275 gallon ibc totes or something like that thanks for watching subscribe like hit the notification bell if you can thanks